I'm Mike Friesen, uh, President and CEO of Elmer's Manufacturing. Uh, we're located here in Altona, Manitoba, and we're currently exporting all around the world. If we go back to 2009 when I joined the company, uh, we were approximately 18 people uh, on staff, and so there was many people wearing many different hats. Uh, today we're over 180 plus. The shop has grown from approximately 35,000 square feet to now just over 85,000 square feet and we're still growing uh, with the current addition happening today uh, for a, a new loading dock to help us with our exporting uh, to ship more overseas. Elmer's Manufacturing is a second generation family business. Elmer is my father and so uh, naturally I was around here since, uh, since I was learning how to walk. We had a very strong reputation of building durable, innovative equipment, and uh, we carried on a lot of those uh, same values to, to what we have today. If we go back to the beginning uh, with our row crop equipment, we were very heavy in uh, basically South Manitoba, uh, North Dakota, Minnesota. In the late 2000s, when we brought on our new products, the grain carts and Super 7, and eventually the Wolverine Ditcher and Bale Processor, we started to expand. North Dakota, South Dakota, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois to Kentucky. From there, uh, we go to Australia, South Africa, the Czech Republic, and Ukraine. Our export uh, numbers, they have probably grown from roughly 10% to 40 to 45% right now, and they'll continue to grow for the foreseeable future. So our market was predominantly Western Canada to begin with. We are really a global company serving farmers and customers all around the world. We're not afraid to try something new, uh, take on new challenges, new technology, really challenge the status quo and how things are and, and try to come up with what, what they could be or what they should be. It is hard work, uh, it is long days on the road. You are working the same, same hours as farmers. A lot of success is behind hard work. Uh, there's no, usually no way around that. Nothing, nothing great comes easy and uh, we're willing to, to do the work to get there. It's a lot of travel, a lot of time on the road, uh, meeting a lot of new people, uh, shaking hands uh, and showing them our equipment. And it's a joy, like when you have something that you know is better than somebody else's, to show it to them and, and get that feedback from them after the fact, saying, hey, this was awesome. I thought a grain cart was a grain cart, and, and I'm realizing now that it's not, and there's more to it than, than what I've ever seen before. On March 11, 2019, we did suffer a fire in our paint line, uh, which also destroyed our assembly line as well, too, as they were connected. Uh, so that was nearly 50% of our production processes that were now gone overnight. It was a very tough time for us. It pulled us together and unified us in one direction to uh, recover and rebuild. And uh, we all had a, a strong common vision to get back on our feet. And uh, in, a, in a sense, it actually helped us uh, build, a, build us into what we are today. It showed our ingenuity and creativity in solving the problem together, built a lot of great habits and practices that we're still uh, in today. Developing lean systems on the floor, uh, it, was, it was critical in many ways because uh, we just didn't have room to, to have that waste, to have that inefficiency. To date, I would say we've probably got more than half of our staff through a CME course of some kind, whether it's Lean 101, Lean Yellow Belt, in green belt. Uh, we use a lot of other services from CME, such as the Manufacturer Executive Group, which I'm a part of in Southern Manitoba. Uh, we also, uh, the Manufacturer Operations Council. Personally, as a CEO, it was um, essential to have some of those resources available, especially during the time of the fire, to lean on that experience uh, that uh, they could provide. A lot of our success in, in uh, growing our, our company in general and, and export specifically is our, is our dedicated uh, effort to the marketing of our products and uh, finding those new markets, establishing relationships and typically it, it means doing the harder work that most others aren't doing. Whether it is uh, making those long distance trips to, to these countries to meet the people face to face, uh, to visit the farmers, to, uh, to attend the trade shows and, uh, and demonstrate our product. I think it's good to think big. Um, it helps stretch your stretch your, your vision as to what, what you think you can achieve. There's usually more than what you know. But sometimes we're, we're so busy uh, working hard that we don't stop and look back to where what we've achieved. And uh, this is just a, a great point to just reflect on, on our success. Um, everyone that's helped us get, get here and that's been part of this journey with us. And uh, it's, it's rewarding to see that.